Okay, stallions are not always friends. Uh, on the left you see Juicioso, who is a Spanish horse, Spanish purebred, P-R-E. And on the right you see Raciero, who is a Lusitano uh, cross with uh, Lusitano Pura Raza. This movie is about uh, the confrontation I had uh, several days ago now, and I want to show it. I know most people show only success movies and how good they are and how great and how fluffy and wonderful and lovely and cute and lollipop and I don't know whatever word you might use, but this is reality. And why do I publish this movie? Because I think it's very important to, um, well, stay with your both foot on the ground, stay grounded and you can have all kinds of rom romantical ideas about horses, but probably this movie will present you that it's not always cute and fluffy and uh, puppy. Anyway, Josiosa the Grey Horse was castrated in October this year and it's now October, November, December, January, February, four months later. So I hoped uh, and I saw in the communication with the other one that he was indeed, uh, he's persistent, but he was less aggressive. The golden horse, who doesn't show really gold at this movie, but he is not castrated. He's an uh, entero. He's full, um, full stallion. Anyway, I decided to put them together, and this is the first time. And I thought, let's put the camera there because you never know what happens. And I thought, well, this is going pretty well. Uh, they were eating. They were interested, but they know each other. And I didn't do this in the first day. I did this. It took one and a half year. Uh, in observation um, so I thought well they, they more or less know each other and they might get along but I'm, I'm not sure so I put some food there so they can eat together because eating also helps them to more or less relax uh, when they're eating hay or in this case alfalfa they have uh, a goal and it, the interaction will be uh, when, when they don't eat and they start to get to know each other at this moment, I thought, I'm moving, I'm walking. <laughs> Sorry for the, for the movie. At this moment, I thought, well, this is going great. This is pretty good. And I decided to get my um, tripod so I could, because this is filmed out of hand, my tripod, so I could put it there and just observe. Because I think observation is one of the most important things in horses. Observe. Look at the behavior, interpret and be careful with your interpretations and try to look at things from different ways. I mean, you can have a romantic idea about how cute and sweet horses are, but you have to stay realistic. Anyway, my dream, my hope was uh, that I might be able to integrate. So when I went for the tripod and you can hear the dog respond, this is what happened. Uh, they were smelling, they were... Uh, doing all kinds of things. And you can see the grey one is, is smashing his hoof on the, on the floor, like here. This is a, a sign of tension. And they're walking around each other, which is still uh, not abnormal. They're, they're jumping a little bit up and down. And I, but you can see the grey horse uh, is more or less attacking, very anxious, kicking. Now you get well, now we come to the ritual of smelling, and the smelling is smelling in the genitals. Uh, this is what they do. This is what, what dogs do. You will see this in, in, in all kinds of mammals, except for people, of course. <laughs> humans have different ways of... Anyway, never mind humans. We're talking about these guys. The dog responds, and the dog is right. The dog is always right. He responds on, on all kinds of tension. Uh, also tension for the food, also tension for, um, in this case, aggression. Um, well, I call it aggression. Until now, it's still going pretty mwah. okay. Um, it's. I know it's a small place. It, I could have chosen for the bigger place. We have a bigger sand place, but I chose it because this is, for me, the only possibility to separate them in case something goes wrong. So, and here they, they, that's why I chose this place and beside of that, smelling again, genitals, which is all normal behavior, all normal um, in getting to know each other. And I hoped that they would use their common sense and they would perhaps uh, just be together. 
Anyway, here you still see the small bites, and this is all. This is what I call the challenge of the children in the in the in the car at the back when one is pushing and the other one is pushing and pushing and, and the pushing goes more and more and more. And here starts the biting, and this is these are signs that they are not. Um, being kind or polite and that there's there's a challenge they're challenging this biting is meant uh, if they can get grip on the on the skin this biting is meant to put the other one down the, the idea behind the stallion fights male fight stallion fights is to put the other one down the one who's who's down is the, is the loser and this is definitely a dominant situation are these horses dominant? Well, that's another idea. I don't think so. I don't, don't believe any horse is dominant. And here you can see the excitement and you can hear the shouts. I kept on mo taping because at this moment there's nothing I can do. Um, and I hoped so much that they would um, be able to, to stop their own fight. And here you see the biting. Here you can see, I, th I call it pit bull biting. This is really... Uh, Rociero, the golden guy, has his grip on the skin of the grey one and is trying to, you know, you see this, trying to get him down on the skin. It doesn't work. At the end there were no real wounds, um, only uh, some loose skin. And you can also see how, how they prevent uh, to be kicked. Anyway, the small dog is interfering and I don't like that, so I started to... I thought, no, this is the time for me to um, separate them, because I didn't uh, want this to go on. Is it a failure? Well, well, that was... The wood. Is it is it failure of human? Well, in a way, yes. I mean, you don't want to create any fights. This is... Now he fell, um, which is for uh, you know, a reason to be more... Um, you know. Nobody was hurt, only some skin injuries. But of course, uh, this is something you want to prevent. Uh, you don't want to initiate this, facilitate this kind of behavior. And you can see that, that, that they are not... Um, perhaps it would have been better if, if it was in the big field, but then I would be afraid that they would run through the fence. Now I'm separating them. I hit with the whip and I can't even touch them, so there's nobody touched. I just separated them because I thought, okay, this is enough. I know now, uh, I, I already predicted that the grey one would not step back and I hoped that he would. Well, here you can see Orothero using his common sense going to the stalls. And Anyway, this is not uh, the way it is supposed to go, but this is, the, this is reality also. And I feel guilty, yes and no, because now I know and I'm glad um that nothing really bad happened and i'm also proud that i could separate them and they use both common sense in the separation okay not a great idea